Professor Tzafra Margolin Lerman is the kind of genius whom we badly need in South Africa. She's made her own the field of instruction in science and creative and innovative work in science education. Especially, though not exclusively, has her work with disadvantaged populations shown as president of Columbia College, John B. Duff declares that scientific literacy need not remain the prerogative of the privileged. In this area, she is one of a handful of the world's leading experts in science education. She's receiving her Jose Vasconcelos Award at this first ever World Cultural Council ceremony in South Africa. Dare I hope that this may lead to her being invited to the new democratic South Africa to help and guide us in opening up vistas for science education here where such vistas are so badly needed. The marriage of science and the arts, which Dr. Lerman has used so fruitfully, has long fired my imagination, and especially since the time 45 years ago when I had the privilege of addressing the Science Writers Association of South Africa on the subject. Today's ceremony represents, in a way, a crystallization of that concept a synthesis which has always been close to the thinking of the president of the World Cultural Council. I'm supposed to have reached the age at which one readily turns to such matters. After all, didn't Wordsworth in his Ode on the Intimations of Immortality write of the years that bring the philosophic mind? On the other hand, Conrad Waddington, the great embryologist and geneticist, held that at least in his case, and he supposed therefore in everyone's case, a little philosophy is there at the beginning of a scholar's career and a little more flows out of a lifetime of research towards the end of his career. I think perhaps my own experience was closer to that of Waddington than to the poet's idea that one becomes a philosopher simply by growing up and growing old. On behalf of the South African and all other members of the World Cultural Council, it is my privilege to convey enthusiastic felicitations to Tsafra Lerman and Frank Fenner. I'm honored to have been invited to participate in this 17th award ceremony of the World Cultural Council.
I now call upon Mr. Tony Lelliot, Acting Dean of the Faculty of Education, to read the citation for the Jose Vasconcelos Medal awarded to Professor Zafra Lerman. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jose Vasconcelos World Award of Education has been established as an acknowledgement to those who have distinguished themselves in teaching, which can be regarded as the underlying basis for our present civilization. Professor Zafra M. Lerman, winner of the Jose Vasconcelos World Award of Education. Professor Lerman is Distinguished Professor of Science and Public Policy and Head of the Institute for Science Education and Science Communication at Columbia College, Chicago, USA. Professor Lerman was selected as the recipient of the award in recognition of her valuable and outstanding contributions in the field of science education. She became a pioneer in the current renaissance of instruction in science, now used worldwide. In particular, she has defined and developed efforts to utilize visual and performing arts activities in the teaching of science. Her work with underrepresented and disadvantaged populations has demonstrated that scientific literacy need not remain the prerogative of the privileged. She encourages students by employing particular and innovative techniques that require them to make use of plays, dances, music, rap songs, and mini documentaries to illustrate a variety of scientific topics. One example, Sodium and Chlorine, a love story, presents the structure of the atom, the ionic bond, and its dissociation in water as a mock Shakespearean tragedy. <laughs> Professor Lerman's integration of the sciences and the arts has encouraged the growing worldwide perception that the arts have an important role to play in the development of basic academic skills. Professor Lerman holds that free and equal access to science education is a basic human right for all. Another consuming passion of Professor Lerman's life is human rights and scientific freedom. She has worked tirelessly on behalf of persecuted scientists around the world, most notably in the former Soviet Union, Russia and China, single-handedly causing the American Chemical Society the largest professional society in the world, to change from a relatively inactive stance in these matters to playing a strong, effective, activist role. Professor Lerman was born in Haifa, Israel. She studied at the Technion Israel Institute. In 1960, she received her BSc in chemistry. In 1969, she received her PhD in chemistry at the Wiseman Institute of Science. In 1977, she became the first science faculty member at Columbia College. In 1991, in honor of her worldwide acclaim and her pioneering contribution to scientific literacy, Columbia College established for Professor Lerman the Institute for Science Education and Science Communication. The college then appointed Professor Lerman as the first and only distinguished professor. Fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry, London, Professor Lerman has lectured, presented workshops, and organized symposia on her methods on integrating science with the arts in many countries, including China, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, France, Great Britain, Germany, Hungary, Russia, Mexico, Brazil, Turkey, Egypt, and Israel. And now, I might add, South Africa helping students and teachers from all around the world in the common enterprise of spreading the philosophical and practical benefits of the scientific method. Her work clearly fits closely with Professor Vasconcelos' philosophy, which deals with the world as a cosmic unity. Let me now ask Professor Zafra Lerman to receive the award. The Jose Vasconcelos World Award for Education is presented to Professor Zafra Lerman.
I would like to thank all the parties and stage that they were mentioned already a few times to all the academic procession that took time this evening to come and join us, especially my friends and colleagues in the science education field that I worked with them for many years, Marie St. John. I'm glad to be at your university this time. To my colleagues from Columbia College that flew a long way seven people to join us here in South Africa, and it's an honor for us to be here with you. And now I will read my, my acceptance speech. It is my great honor and pleasure to accept the Jose Vasconcelos World Award of Education. I hope that my contributions towards education for future generations will in some way mirror the many contributions he made. The World Cultural Council is recognizing people who make contribution to society in three categories, science, art, and education. I am pleased and honored to accept the award education for integrating the other two disciplines, art and science. We are all familiar with C.P. Snow's The Two Cultures. I hope that my work at the Science Institute of Columbia College Chicago and its adoption by institutions around the world is evidence that science and art are one culture. The world's population recently passed the six billion mark and it continues to increase exponentially. This growth is matched only by that of our scientific and technological advances. It is my tenet in life that free and equal access to science education is a basic human right that belongs to all. In order to guarantee science education for all, I hope that the model we developed in the Science Institute can be expanded to meet the educational needs of the growing world population. These methods of integrating science with art, music, dance, drama, sports and cultural backgrounds have already been adopted by many institutions in Chicago, throughout the US, and around the world in settings ranging from the formal to the informal in elementary, high school, and university levels. Only by developing different methods of teaching science to address what Harvard Gardner from Harvard University calls the multiple intelligences and by cultiva cultivating critical thinking instead of relying on rock memorization, will we be able to avoid forming a class society that will divide, be divided not by royalty, but by knowledge of science and technology? To this end, the integration of science with the arts will make it possible to make science education accessible to all, independent of race, gender, economic background, and cultural backgrounds. I want to thank the World Cultural Council for establishing an award to recognize the importance of education for the survival of the planet. Thank you very much. Congratulations and thank you, Professor Lerman. As a person from the arts, I endorse everything you say. We will now have another short musical interlude. We present to you the Maropa drummers.
I thought we were going to get a little more. <laughs> so good. I would like to call upon Professor Lerman to come forward and also sign the winner's book.